morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Facebook Live. I'm Saquon. I'm Scott Egan. Thanks and for joining us. This is Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? This is Dylan. Um, okay, before we get started um, with a discussion that we're going to start out with, uh, we want to let you know you can always watch this uh, and listen to this, um, take this wherever you want to go. Um, you can do that by going to our Inform YouTube channel. You can find us on your favorite podcast platform and on inform.com slash podcast under Inform Minute. And now we start our discussion. As you can see, this is an off-brand lunchable. Dylan, yeah, Dylan has an off-brand lunchable, and apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently, he brings these every single day to well, eat. Well, not every day. Okay. But when I make it to the grocery store and they're on sale, I guess I'll buy them even because okay. it's an easy snack. So, and, you know. It's okay. So the reason why we're having this discussion, <laughs> Lydia's over there like shaking her head, <laughs> is because I didn't know that he ate Lunchables and I was like, What's wrong with eating Lunchables? Eating? Well, okay. I didn't say Lunchables are weird. I'm just saying the meat in Lunchables is just like, it just rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. Lydia just mentioned like the most disgusting thing ever. She's like, it probably just slides right down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, sorry, we, we want to know if you guys eat Lunchables ever or when the last time you had yeah. a Lunchable was because we're just, we kind of want to get uh, your take. Years <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I mean. I couldn't tell you the last time I had one. Are you, are you going to defend yourself here? I mean, these are good. You get a crunch bar. Like, <laughs> come on. Who does not love a good crunch bar at 8 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, just buy a crunch bar. No! <laughs> because you don't get, like, the crackers, the fake meat, I guess. So, what is your, so besides the crunch yeah. bar, what is the favorite part? Is it the meat? Is it the cheese? Well, this is, like, an all-part sample. Like, this is, like, you know, you go to, like, a buffet, and you have this whole, like, thing, like, choose many things. I could only have a crunch bar. You know, only having a giant crunch bar at 8 a.m. on how unhealthy that would be? Now I can say I'm eating a little bit more healthy. That's the guy who literally <laughs> brings jumbo bags of candy and eats it on the side. Yeah, I have to get, I actually have a big five pound bag. I'll bring that in tomorrow of gummy bears. Okay, so you're gonna show, we're going to have sure, that discussion. Sure, tomorrow. we'll talk about that tomorrow. I think gummy worms are better, but. <laughs> oh my goodness, we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, let's transition from Lunchables <laughs> yes. to the weather. Um, oh my gosh. Because I don't know how else to do the transition. Yeah. So let's just do let's, it. Let's Tell us a little it. bit about the weather. <laughs> Well, weather uh, would be great, just like this Lunchable is about to be when I eat it. Uh, temperature is uh, going to be somewhat warm in the low 20s-ish. We're actually seeing some sunshine out there. If you take a look outside, in the valley at least, yeah. uh, there you're probably seeing sunshine. We Which haven't is seen the nice. sun. Yeah. yeah. When's the last time we saw the sun? Couldn't tell you. It's been a long time. <laughs> while. Um, but uh, that will not be long lived as a cold front's moving on through. And that's going to pick up the wind behind it, bring a few snow flurries. And then we're talking blowing snow. And all that snow that's already on the ground. It's already light and fluffy, mm -hmm. and so yeah. it doesn't have that good crust on top to stop it from blowing around. Mm -hmm. So it's probably going to be a tricky couple of days of travel, especially as you go into tomorrow when oh, yeah. that wind really picks up. Even so. this morning when I was coming into work, I could see like shine yeah. on the road, which is never a good sign, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, it shouldn't look wet, um, so that's a clear indicator that there's still slick spots out there, mm -hmm. and with these temperatures, yeah, you're yep. going to be dealing with water. Yeah, so tomorrow the visibility issues on top of that. And yeah. of course, those little finger drifts you get across the road mm -hmm. with blowing mm -hmm. snow. Yeah. So yeah, I'll be out live tomorrow for first news. Yeah. And cool. We'll go from there. So appreciate it. We're also gonna keep an eye on the current road conditions tomorrow yeah. with uh, like the road conditions maps for both Minnesota and North Dakota. Yeah. So yeah, stick with us for that too. Yeah. Eat a lunchable. Um, uh, we'll, we'll revisit that, Dylan. <laughs> I hope you enjoy yours though. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah. Have fun over there with the <laughs> Okay, let's talk news. No more lunchables. Okay. Right now, um, we do know that nearly two dozen people at a Richland County Retirement Center are going to need to find a new place to live. Um, and that's because D Dakota Estates is, is the place that we're talking about in uh, Lidgerwood. Um, it's going to be closing on December 31st, and it's because of bankruptcy. Um, that gives people living there, obviously, just six weeks to find a new place. Uh, management is saying that this debt that they are dealing with has been just increasing, likely because they just haven't really been charging people as much for rent. Mm -hmm. um, also because it's just outdated right now. There's not as many people who live there right now. In fact, it's nearly 50 years old with no you know, updates or renovations. Um, so we did hear from a board member um, who says that she's, this is like a little paradise for her. It was really yeah. cute and, and nice to hear from her. You know, she's like, we are well taken care of, we're fed, we're, you know, um, and we just relax. And I thought it was neat to hear that, but we know that an audit is gonna be happening as well, just because they did get some money from the urban housing development uh, department as well. So uh, yeah. yeah, we'll follow up on that for you. 
All right, so we have uh, an update for you on a crash that happened early this morning in Fargo. We know that the cause of that crash was someone losing control of, of their vehicle. Um, so we had some video of it that we showed this morning. Um, it happened around one o'clock this morning on University Drive and at 12th Avenue North in Fargo. If you don't know where that is, it's right near the NDSU campus. Um, so what happened was there was a car flying, lost control, hit another car. Um, thankfully, there was no serious injuries. We were just told that one person did have a, a minor injury. Yeah. Um, okay, also new this morning, we know that quick action was able to uh, prevent some major damage from a Grand Forks apartment fire last night. Um, and this all happened in the 900 block of 36th Avenue South just before 7 last night. Uh, we know that a small fire had started in uh, one unit's bathroom due to an a fan that was overheating um, and apparently malfunctioning as mm -hmm. well. Um, and so the person who lived there, you know, did what they were supposed to do. They grabbed a fire extinguisher as quick as they could, put out those flames. Um, and we do know that there was very minimal fire damage, at least that's where mm -hmm. we're hearing from firefighters this morning. No one had to be displaced as well. So good news there. Yeah. Right now, the North Dakota Board of Higher Education is looking to fill two openings. Uh, but there is a bit of a catch here. Yeah. If you are um, an NDSU alum who holds a bachelor's degree, you will not be eligible for the Sorry, position. Bison. <laughs> That's because the board already has two NDSU bachelor degree holders serving on the board, mm -hmm. so they're trying to broaden their horizon, right. di diversify the interests there. Um, if you are interested in joining that board, you will have to have resided in North Dakota for at least five years and not been employed by a North Dakota University system in the past two years. Mm -hmm. And if you do serve on the board, your term is four years. Yeah. Um, also, uh, this is a feel good story as mm -hmm. well. North Dakota National Guard soldiers are being welcomed back home this week uh, after a year long deployment. So we got to see some of their pictures. You could just see the big smiles yeah. on those soldiers' faces. Um, and that homecoming happened yesterday in Bismarck. Uh, we know around 70 soldiers are back in the state. They were serving at the southwest border, of course. 120 <laughs> soldiers in total went on that mission. 30 were able to return last week, 15 more scheduled uh, to come home this weekend. Um, so really, really neat story, of course, mm -hmm. and um, probably an awesome thing for you know their loved ones to yeah. welcome them back. Absolutely. We were talking a lot about voting um, last week with the election oh, yeah. and voting numbers and that kind of thing. Right. So we're kind of getting a better look at that now. Um, Minnesota was one of the top performing states mm -hmm. in the midterm election. Uh, we told you earlier this week on First News that Minnesota had a 6% lower turnout than in previous years. However, they, the state did still pull a top spot in the U.S. for voter turnout. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. You remember North Dakota didn't do too hot in that category. Right. So um, Minnesota was actually among three states that reached the 60% mark for voters, along with Maine and Wisconsin. Nice. Uh, also, sticking in Minnesota, Governor Tim Walz is getting right back to work, of course, after he won re-election. Um, he just announced that uh, a more than $20 million boost for economic development in the state. Uh, he also says that the money is going to be used by small cities and townships um, for infrastructure and rehabilitation projects. So some of those communities actually include um, uh, communities here in our region, Ada, Minoman, Twin Lakes, and Thief River Falls. You can check out the full list, though, of course, by heading over to our website, inform.com. All right, let's go back to talk about those road conditions like we were kind of talking about with yeah. Dylan off the top of this uh, Facebook Live. But uh, this is a report that we've got from the Minnesota uh, DOT and Highway Patrol. So um, just yesterday, there were 300 crashes that happened um, in the morning hours. Now that total as of today is at about 700. Mm -hmm. So a lot of accidents, of yeah. course, the roads have not been great for about the last week, no. remain icy, snow covered, slick spots in yeah. some areas. Um, of those crashes of about the 700 in the last mm -hmm. uh, few days in Minnesota, 40 people were hurt and there were two fatal crashes. So uh, the DOT in Minnesota says they're working to prevent as many of these crashes as they can by pre-treating the roads that are icy and mm -hmm. snowy. But uh, they're reminding people that are driving that that pretreatment doesn't mean the roads are, are necessarily good. It's yeah, not like a right. magic substance. It's just <laughs> it just helps. So you yeah. gotta take things slow, mm -hmm. be careful, and just you know put some extra distance between you yeah. and the car in front yep. of you. Take the turn slow. Just be careful. Don't folks. underestimate the roads. Yeah. Um, okay. Talking more in a national scope of things, we know former President Donald Trump has officially launched his 2024 bid for president. I'm sure many of you saw that last night. Um, and keep in mind, this is all coming at a time where he is under several investigations right now. And we mm -hmm. heard from an ABC News reporter this morning uh, that things could get 
difficult in those investigations just because of his run for president. Um, uh, keep in mind, he's also facing growing criticism from not only members of his own party, but of course, several you know potential GOP challengers in this race as well. Um, keep in mind, if you didn't catch Trump's actual speech on this, he did mention the 2020 election. He did not say that it was stolen uh, this time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we all know this is happening. He says he's confident he's gonna be back in the White House. So uh, big talker, I'm sure, still as yeah. of this morning. We'll see how it plays out. It'll be interesting how factions of the so GOP true. kind of fall on this thing. Totally. And that's what a lot of people are watching, whether they side by Trump mm -hmm. or they decide they want to go in a different direction. Yeah. So we'll see how it plays out. Definitely. It'll be certainly an interesting presidential cycle yeah. to follow. Cycle for sure. is a good word for that. All right. Um, <laughs> this is a big story. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yes. Uh, her fans were very ready to buy all those tickets mm -hmm. on pre-sale yesterday, but there were some issues with Ticketmaster. Oh, yeah, issues to say the least. Yeah, yeah. so um, many fans were buzzing to get those uh, tickets, but the website, um, you know, they're saying, a lot of people are saying it crashed yeah, or froze. Right. Now, um, Ticketmaster is denying this, Yes. but I mean, come on, the proof is in the pudding. Right, like, right. Uh, so many people were using it. Yeah. It obviously wasn't working correctly. Yeah. Now, it might not have been a full crash, but there were certainly issues with mm -hmm. it. And, um, you know, Ticketmaster is essentially just saying right now, if you had that pre-sale code, you just need to go to their website and follow like the link mm -hmm. that they specifically gave you and you should be able to buy those tickets. Yeah. Although I don't even know if there's any available at the demand they So were. what's funny about this is I just saw on Twitter that apparently StubHub is now doing you know, resale tickets. Mm. Um, so keep in mind, like, you know, our, our producer, I think it was this morning, she brought up a really good point. You know, a lot of these resale uh, companies or whatever, they're probably buying these tickets in bulk possibly and trying to resell them. So I think those resale tickets right now on StubHub, I believe it was like 400 to $32,000, which is an absurd amount for tickets. Um, Lisa even tried waiting in this queue for hours and hours and hours since like nine in the morning yesterday. Yeah. She didn't get that. And she, she was saying that she would try to click on like the $200 uh -huh. ones. No, it wouldn't work because someone had already bought them. So it's just like, it's crazy. I don't yeah. know. I'm sorry if you're, you're a Swifty and you didn't get those tickets because you're <laughs> definitely not alone in that, but I can imagine how frustrating yeah. that is. So just have to be patient and, uh, you know, hope maybe the prices come down or yeah, something. Yeah, like what? I don't know. We'll but see. But you know what? It does give me hope that this is just pre-sale tickets. So, yeah. you know, regular tickets are coming. You just probably have to act fast again and hopefully <laughs> Ticketmaster you don't have issues with. So Yeah, cool. Well, that'll be a fun series of concerts <laughs> yeah. when she's out and obviously yeah. all the shows are probably going to be sold out oh so. my gosh yeah um one more thing to talk about this morning of course is hot mike mm -hmm. i believe dom is back today dom is back today yes cool. um so he's going to be on from 9 to 11 on wday extra inform.com he was out on a fun assignment yesterday i will not be on hot mike <laughs> this morning uh but i'm sure dom will have much credible guests when it comes to the sports world so yeah. uh yeah make sure you go join him this morning 9 to 11 wday extra inform.com yeah and don't forget right now you can uh for 99 cents a month for your first three months mm -hmm. get an all access pass to inform.com where you're going to find access to all the stories that we just talked about plus a whole lot more and yeah. we don't know how long this deal is going to last yep. so take advantage of it now because it's something that uh, is a very good deal yeah and we swear by it every single day so <laughs> all right everyone um don't forget we got our 11 o'clock newscast here in just a few hours with becky parker dylan vote and then our evening coverage continues at four uh goes to five six nine and ten we will be back here tomorrow morning for a busy day as yep. we're tracking those road conditions like you had mentioned and of course we're gonna have dylan vote live outside for us uh in the elements of everything so hope you can join us uh, drive safe yes. and don't underestimate the roads. Stay warm. Have a good day, folks. Bye. Bye, -bye.